Hello and welcome back to The Note. We've had really quite an impressive rally on world markets today. It started early in Asia. You saw very impressive gains on European stock markets and you saw a gain of 1% for the S&P 500 here in the US, bringing it to a new high for the year and ready to stage an assault on the record it set now almost a year ago. I would like to suggest that if there is one unifying theme behind the various things that have helped markets upwards today, it's that they had a very low bar of expectations to clear. Now let's take a look first at the vitally important Chinese economic data that uh, started the day. This is year-on-year -year growth in uh, imports in red and exports in blue. Both are very important to the rest of the world. China is uh, the world's customer of last resort. You can see a very clear, steady downward trend in how much China both imports and exports. And you can see a, a tick up in imports still down year on year and a more impressive tick up in, um, in exports. Not at all clear that we have broken the trend, but people have been very nervous, very anxious about China. At least it shows that Chinese growth is not continuing to fall into the abyss thanks to expectations having been so low, this was treated as a very strong positive event. It particularly helped banks, which are cyclical, uh, very much exposed to growth, and so you saw uh, a noticeable recovery in European banks. Then we came to what was possibly the single biggest uh, piece of news as far as people in the markets are concerned here in the States, which was the results from JP Morgan. The headline on this was that they were considerably better than expected and banks in general had a great day here in the States, including JP Morgan itself. Here are those excellent results. What we're looking at is trailing 12 month uh, earnings per share. And you can see that JP Morgan is not earning quite as much over the last 12 months as it did five years ago. Uh, you can also see that those earnings have in fact declined. The problem or the benefit as far as uh, the markets are concerned was that expectations were very low indeed. We've seen a savage write down in forecasts. That meant that uh, the uh, results when they came showing that uh, the damage to, uh, to uh, uh, US banks bottom line may not be as bad as had been feared. Those results ultimately were treated as very positive. I suspect we will be talking about this phenomenon a little more. The bar has been set very low, even though I still think in the medium and long term there is quite a lot to worry about. In the short term, if people continue to beat these rather easy targets that have been set for them, we could see this rally carry on for a while longer.